Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a tip video for you today of sorts. Uh, I'll have come some money plays in it, uh, but ultimately I wanted to show you guys something that I noticed a, a little while ago. Something that I think was possibly part of an up an update that EA did. I don't know if it was the April update or a previous update, but it's something that I've been noticing. And uh, it has to do with one play touchdowns. If you use any of my one play touchdowns, there was something that EA added. Uh, I would consider it a glitch uh, between the hash marks so you have to be aware of before you choose them so before uh, I get into the video I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick a play a play that I put out recently one play touchdown out of the gun empty Y Saint and I meant to mention this in that video uh, but I don't know if I edited it out if I just forgot uh, but ultimately you need to know this when you're running one play touchdowns against cover three or cover four I want to show you a one play touchdown versus both defenses by the way if you don't know them I'm in the Saints playbook as well just so you guys know I pretty much always do these videos out of the Saints playbook and then like I said this is a cover three uh, glitch so we're just going to pick a random cover three. So, like I said, this is the play. I put this out a mm, week or two ago. I still intend to put out a, a fuller uh, breakdown of this of this entire scheme. So, if you want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But I do I do want to put out like a full breakdown and like a 20 minute breakdown of this entire formation because it's a great formation. Uh, but all you really had to do to make this play work was streak the Y route and then streak the A route. And that's pretty much all you had to do. And when you did that, this Y route here uh, would would basically be just right up the seam, really quick and easy. It's a super fast touchdown. I mean, you don't have to wait for the a receiver to cross the field like you do in some cover threes. But there is one really important tip. Like I said, to me, it's a glitch uh, that comes with um, running plays like this. And that's basically where the ball is in between these hash marks. Now, if you're too far to the left or too far to the right, a play like that won't work. And it'll completely change how the defense reacts. So I'm just going to go ahead and move the ball over slightly. It doesn't even have to be moved over much from the center of the field. So let's go ahead and let's make that same adjustment. And let's watch that cornerback on the side of the wide receiver now. Watch what he does. You see how he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't jump down. I guess I mossed it somehow. But you see how he didn't come down and follow the cornerback? I'll go ahead and I'll do that again just so you can see it. I'm not gonna go to the replay. I meant to do that with the to change the A route too, but it doesn't really matter. But you can see, like I said, now the cornerback's dropping back. And it all has to do, and I'm sure people aren't really aware of this but it all has to do with where you are in between the hash marks now that i'm just a little bit over you can see once again three plays in a row i mean i lost it a couple times i guess i i do I mean, i'm just naturally did a good job of adjusting to the ball but most people are going to be throwing interceptions when they do this but there's just little things like this like i said to me i think it's a glitch i don't know if ea programmed it that way but there's something to this uh where you know if you run this to a certain side of the field it's going to be an interception or it's going to get batted down or the the, the defense is going to react completely different you can see right there i move the ball just a little bit over to the right again back to the towards the center and now we're getting a different look we're getting a touchdown again to continue with this idea that this is kind of glitchy and a lot of people probably don't know this uh, i'm going to run a cover four one play touchdown that takes no adjustments called the pa post dig shot that's a cover four one play touchdown and i'm going to pick the most popular cover four which is the cover four drop show two three four odd so, like I said, once again, we're going to go ahead. We're just going to move it back within, you know, within the range. Move the ball to this uh, spot here. Cover four one-play touchdowns are more effective when run to the short side of the field. Now, on this play, once again, Thomas is my slower receiver. He's slower than Ginn. But he's going to get more separation based off the fact that I'm running it to the short side of the field. I'm going to go ahead and motion my quarterback over. You can see right there, he's beating this cover four by about three yards plus, which, because he's so slow, doesn't make any sense. I think he's like an 89 speed. So now I want to keep him running that route. So we're going to go, we're going to move the ball over rather than flip the play like we were last time. So now we'll give ourselves the whole field. You know what I mean? We're going to run to the open side and see what happens. So now we're going to run to the open side of the field. Same play, no adjustments. And we're going to see how this safety catches up with him. So exact same play. He gets a little bit of separation there. And look at that. We get picked off. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vid there. Just to recap, if you're running a cover three, one play touchdown, whether it's mine or somebody else's, make sure if you want to get the most separation by your receivers, the most separation possible, make sure you run to the open side of the field. And if you're running a cover four, one play touchdown, whether they're mine, whether you got them on my channel or anybody else's, running it to the short side of the field uh, will make the uh, will make the receiver get the most separation. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if 
you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.